Hello and welcome to CGD Games. Yes, today we are back in Alaska Road Truckers and I put a hints and tips video out. I'll link that above now. And I was asked an awful lot, how do I speed up my XP? How do I get more XP? I want to, want to progress further in the game quicker now. Guys, it's a slow burner. Enjoy the process. But I do have a couple of hints and tips that may help boost uh, your XP um, in the future while you're playing the game. So the first thing is uh, hunger and feeding uh, your young driver, shall we say. Um, as you can see, it keeps you on it. So I think the best thing we should do, let, let's, get this, uh, let's get this fella to sleep. There we are. You can have a little sleep because his yawning is starting to get very tiresome for me as well. Right, there we go. Nice and awake now. Excellent stuff. Right, so cooking. Yes, cooking is going to help you uh, gain some XP. So uh, we've got some fried chicken tenders there. So uh, we'll pop them in the microwave. There we go. We'll just wait for them to cook. I'm a little bit peckish anyway. So there we go. Let's all wait for these to be ready. Excellent stuff. So there you go. At the top, 50 XP. For cooking uh, some chicken tenders there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if we go back into our storage. What else have we got? We've got some steak uh, tips uncooked. Uh, so let's cook them. There we go. Let's cook them as well. I'll wait for them to do the little thing in the microwave. If everyone loves a little bit of microwave food, don't they? There we go. And we'll get them out as well. And nothing actually pinged for that one then. No, no XP gained for that one. But anyway, how strange. How strange that happened. So yeah, all your cooking uh, will come under personality. As you can see, I've got one point there. Um, and I'm waiting now. I'm going to expand on my storage next. Every time you cook, that's going to affect your personality. As I said in my hints and tips videos as well, make sure you unlock this hands-on approach and buy the chainsaw. Um, and then if you can get the hands-on approach too, just so you can remove roadblocks uh, at any point in the game. You're going to get tr uh, trees that have fell, and then you're going to get avalanches as well. Um, so yeah, make sure you unlock them, because every time you move uh, a roadblock, you're going to unlock more XP. So yeah, cooking and removing roadblocks, it's a massive one. So while I'm here, I thought I might as well get a little bit of fuel. Um, just to top up the old tank while we're out and about doing a few jobs out on the road. There we go. Let's uh, wait for this to uh, top up. It's not going to need too much. There we go. Splendid stuff. That's that done. Build up 57.66 gallons. Oh, no, that's that done. Uh, so no XP for that. So uh, don't expect to get any XP for when you're fueling up. There we are, we paid two hundred and forty-two dollars and nineteen for fifty-seven point six six gallons. So there you go. Right, so cooking. That's your main one. You, you could stand in there and cook all day if you wanted. Uh, but obviously you've got to buy the food, so that's gonna cost you money. So yeah, just make sure you're cooking uh, and you've got enough food um for your guy to eat. So we might as well uh, eat these now, haven't we? Might as well eat one of them. The other one goes off in 11 hours, so I'll make sure to eat that soon as well. Right. What we're going to do next, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to go over here, and we're going to look how to uh, expand our trucking XP. Now, obviously, trucking, just drive. That's what you've got to do. It's not a difficult one at all. Just do your deliveries. Do your pickups. Uh, get them delivered in a, in a good, timely manner. Um with a good reputation, so don't smash up uh, the cargo. Get there with it in a perfect condition. You're going to get the maximum XP um, to do your trucking. There's also one more thing as well about trucking. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the jobs map. Uh, and if we have a look down here at the jobs map, um, let's have a look now. Right, okay. So, for instance, uh, we've got this aircraft engine job here. That's $10,042 with an XP of $315. Now look at the length of this job. This is going to take you well over an hour 
Um, yes, the pay's good, but the XP is three hundred and fifteen dollars. But if we went to a, somewhere like here, and there's what? Let's have a look. Two thousand four hundred and thirty-five dollars with an XP. Of, sorry, no. Let's have a look at this one. Oil five thousand and two dollars, so half of the money, but two hundred and twenty XP. Let's have a scroll and see how far this one is. Uh, that one's going just to there. So sort of halfway down the map. That's going to take you about 20 minutes, half an hour. So what you could do, you're getting two, you could do two of those jobs and get 440 XP, which is around about 100 more XP than this job down here was offering. I can't remember which one we clicked on now. Was it this one? Yes, it was this one. 300 yeah it was, it was over 100 more xp to do the smaller jobs or the average size jobs that give you smaller xp but you can fit more in you can be darting across the map doing doing 20 minute jobs rather than an hour job that's going to give you 315 xp and get three jobs within that hour and probably earn round about 600 over 600 xp uh, than you would doing a normal job so there you go do the smaller jobs if you're going to go after the xp if you want the big money and you're saving up for a truck go for the big money jobs right okay so now we've covered uh two aspects there of our skill trees personality and trucking next is mechanical yes you can get xp for doing work on your truck now what i've done i've purposely damaged the truck uh, and the reason I've done that is, in fact, let's just jump back in the truck because I'm an absolute tool and I don't think I've put the handbrake on. Uh, so let's put the handbrake on and we will turn the engine off as well. Right, let's dive back out now uh, and jump in here. There we go, let's open that up. Like so. Right, so we're going to get XP for topping up the oil. We're going to get XP for doing the coolant, but we're going to get XP as well. Uh, for fixing our own truck yes I'll show you in a minute because we are outside of um, a workshop um, we can do that it's gonna, this that annoys me now this shouldn't happen really until I've actually finished doing the job because I'm not finished doing what I want to do um, so that's the radiator fix we gained XP there but I didn't see what it was but you would have seen it pop up onto the screen now engine you must have the toolkit for this which we do have we do have a toolkit, don't we? Because we bought some in the last Hints and Tips video and I've not used that since. Have I put it in here? Where have I put my uh, my toolkit? There it is, you see. There it is. It's uh, coming to hand out. There we go. So let's get the toolkit and uh, we'll go to the engine. There we go. Right. Climb aboard again. Right. Engine. Fixed. 300 mechanical XP. Just for fixing your engine now if you want to if you want to come to anywhere drive against a tree keep driving against it smash your engine up and then fix it at the side of the road you're going to get 300 uh, xp just for fixing your engine so from there i've gone from uh, 656 xp to 956 xp i could now if i wanted to drive up against the office let's give it a go Let's drive up against that office there. Just for the crack. Let's have a look. There we go. Sorry about this, pal. Just testing something. That one didn't quite work. We didn't do any damage then. Let's reverse back up again. Let's try again. See if we can smash this engine up like a good one. Here we go. Oof. There we go. So we've done a headlight. We've done a radiator. And we've done an engine this time. Right, so let's turn everything off. Let's get out. Like so. I'm not sure if I've got any uh, light bulbs in my possession at the moment. Which one's broke? There we are. Headlight done. 20 mechanical points. Well, let's go back in here. Let's see if we can get another 300 XP uh, for fixing the engine. Now... You must have a toolkit. I must have run out of toolkits. But you, you get what I'm saying. But oh, we could do the radiator again. We can do this again. Do this little mini game. Which I always seem to screw up. There we go. It's when it becomes really tiny. Another 125 XP. 
There we go, you see. So look, let's have a look at uh, our XP again. It's a shame we can't do uh, the engine again, uh, which is a bit of a shame. But uh, yeah, so there we go, 1,101. I've, I've just boosted my mechanical XP by 600 XP in the space of about two minutes. That's how easy it is to there. Trucking, like I said, truck. Reverse into parking spots. Always reverse into parking spots. It's the best way. More XP. Keep that cargo perfect. Get there in a timely manner. You're going to get the maximum trucking XP. Personality. Do lots of cooking. Clear the roads. You're going to top up that XP. Before you know it, you're going to be level 6, level 6, level 4. Like myself. I've got 13,000 uh, miles driven in this now. Around about 60 hours. It's very well balanced, is the XP and the monetary system in this game. It is very well balanced. Uh, and it's not really made to grind out. And these may get nerfed in, in time. Uh, these little uh, tips and these little cheats, almost. Uh, let's uh, use our horn to get inside the garage. So, left headlight, uh, we, we needed to fix, didn't we? We'll do that when we go back out. And the radiator look, even though we fixed it outside, it's only 65% still. Uh, which is a shame. Look, where is the engine there? Forty-eight percent. I mean, I'm going to get this all done in here now. Uh, I might as well while I'm here. Is there anything else quite low? The air filter. In fact, I could do the air filter myself. I think I've got an air filter. So let's repair all that. There we go. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty much. It's a short video. It's not very long, but just some easy ways of expanding your XP. Um. If you want to race through the game, but I, I wouldn't just let it happen naturally. It's more enjoyable that way. I've I've not been using any of these tips. I've not been crashing into trees uh, to try and do damage uh, to my truck. I've just been enjoying the game. Let it naturally happen. Um, it's just more rewarding that way uh, than sort of trying to. What is that light above me? What's that? What is going on? What is that up there? What is that? How very strange. Anyway, um, while I try and figure that out, I'm going to go. Uh, because there's something floating above my truck, which is very strange. Uh, very odd indeed. But yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments. Have you got any tips uh, for maybe cheating the XP system uh, a little bit here on Alaskan Road Truckers? Let me know down in the comments. But if you have found today's video useful, please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you know when I go live and new content drops onto the channel. But once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.